from the gateway to showbiz glory. This is Hollywood 411. Welcome back to a very special live edition of Hollywood 411 on the death of Michael Jackson. Just in shock here today with this very, very sad, sad news. I'm Madison Michelle here alongside Chris Harrison. Uh, we've got senior editor of In Touch Weekly, Kim Serafin, and entertainment expert, Ryan Smith. Yes, in just a bit, we're also going to uh, hopefully uh, have a, a press conference there from UCLA Medical Center. You're looking at a live shot happening just outside the medical center where thousands of fans have gathered. There is a podium set up, camera set up, everything's ready to go. Uh, but obviously, you know, the uh, hospital is going to get everything in order before they come out and make an official announcement. We, of course, will have that for you when it does, uh, when and if it does take place. But uh, bringing it back on set here, uh, guys. We know about the Jackson 5 thriller and his uh, iconic career, um, but there were some dark days. Uh, we also learned about Michael Jackson and, and the rough childhood he had at the hands of his father. Then there were the accusations of, uh, you know, of his own, and, um, and he had to deal with that. Went to trial uh, several times. That's right. I think a lot of people kind of blame the fact that he did seem to have something of a rough childhood on what then became almost something of a warped image. Um, you know, a lot of people had said that his father, Joe, was a very tough disciplinarian and kind of didn't allow him to have that ordinary childhood. And as a result, when we saw Michael Jackson become a man, it was almost this man who almost had Peter Pan syndrome. You know, he wanted to be a right. child. He tried his hardest to kind of regress back to the days where he could go back to some sort of innocence. Um, and I think we saw that almost in everything that he did, be it, you know, even career-wise or in some of his actions that he did take or was accused of taking that then, you know, somehow seemed to not, you know, sit very well with the public. So. Mm -hmm. and, and those sort of stories became almost more iconic than his music, unfortunately. You know, whether it was the reports that he bleached his skin, whether it was the reports that he, you know, bought, bought the elephant man's bones. I, there were all these kind of crazy reports. And then, of course, leading up to the child uh, abuse allegations. Uh, and then even just the way he treated his own kids. Uh, naming They all had the name Michael as their middle name. There was Prince Michael. Um, then there was Michael Jr. And then there was Paris Michael. He made them walk around with masks. On. I mean, so I think for so many people, that is something that they will remember before the great music, and, unfortunately. And holding the baby out the window, holding of the course. Baby, how can yeah. we not mention that? Right, absolutely. And the baby, right. I do think that, you know, certainly in earlier times, it was easier to dismiss a lot of what was being said about Michael. I mean, right. you know, the rumors seem so outlandish, you know, mm. that he slept in an oxygen chamber <laughs> and all of these kinds of things. And I think that's what made it easier to kind of ignore um, maybe, you know, some of the worst stuff that was coming up before, you know, that led to. Um, you know, allegations and charges being levied against him, we could at least for a while dismiss them as stupid hearsay. Um, unfortunately, you know, it, it did lead to lawsuits and it did lead to trials. Well, I think the first time, uh, like you said, you could dismiss it and there was a settlement. Nothing really ever got to the stand. The right. second case where the young man actually testified as a witness, that's where everything really started to fall apart. That's right. And I think that that's really what started to change the tide um, as far as public opinion went, you know, and unfortunately, you know, and I do say this, you know, I just think it's a sad time for him to have gone this way at a time when he kind of didn't get a chance to sort of reclaim that crown and be that person that everybody could unanimously um, put their hands up to say, you know, is the, the undisputed king of pop. Well, before so, yeah. we uh, take a break, I leave you with uh, words from uh, legendary producer Quincy Jones on Michael Jackson. I'm absolutely devastated at this tragic and unexpected news. He went on to say he had it all, talent, grace, professionalism, and dedication. I've lost my brother today and part of my soul has gone with him. More on the death of Michael Jackson right after this.